to just realize and really appreciate how many brave Syrians there are on the ground who are taking daily risks with their lives in order to deliver humanitarian assistance, to keep kids in school, to keep clinics running. It's important to just know that there are ways to support humanitarian organizations on the ground and we really welcome whatever support we can get. It's so critical that for Syrians in those conditions, we continue to make sure, especially that the children are educated, because they're the ones that hopefully one day will be able to go back to Syria, and we want them to help rebuild the country. It's really important to help Syrians wherever they may be. I'd really encourage people to reach out to refugee and migration agencies who really have this as their mandate. I think everyone needs to hold their leaders to account to actually engage in a political process. Right now, we're seeing Russians, Americans, Iranians, Israelis, Turkish forces. I mean, everyone's involved in Syria. This is hardly even about Syrians anymore. The Syrians themselves say, you know, I hope the world hasn't sort of forgotten about us. It's so important that people in the states and around the world keep Syrians in mind. You know, Syrians don't want to be refugees. They don't want to be scattered around the world. They want to be at home and safe and having productive lives. I think the whole world needs to just keep paying attention and notice to the situation that's not only affecting Syrians, but has really affected the whole of the Middle East, and that's not good for anyone.